Friday night, and you know what that means. It is time for Spaghetti and Friends, episode 293. What is going on, people? It's be your boy Smith, as always, joined by the usual suspects. What's going on, fellas? Howdy. Fr- Friday night. You know what that means. Yeah, we'll talk some toys, we'll uh, talk some series, we'll talk about Joker the Musical. (laughs) (laughs) Anybody got any uh, pickups as of late? Um, I got that, I got that premium DNA, Banjo-Kazooie. I like it, I like it a lot actually. It's the only thing, uh, you know. If anyone's kind of like on the on the fence about that, uh, it's 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 much larger than I sort of expected. Yeah, it's good though. I like it. Was it pricey? Uh, it was like. Uh, let me check. Let me check right now. I don't think it was like egregious, but uh, it's about seventy-five bucks. So yeah, a little pricey, but a little pricey. Get a you get a you get a hefty piece of plastic for uh, your 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 seventy-five bucks. Oh, and I got my last train bot. I got my last train bot, so now they're all done. I just need to, uh, just need to put them all together. Well, that's what's up. Ain't nothing wrong with that. some fig news here. It's kind of light though, just with, like I said, they weren't that much. But, uh, I finished yeah. watching, um, Star Wars The Bad Batch. Yeah? Is, is it the season finale? I don't know, I don't even know if that was the season finale, because the way they just end episodes, it's like, like, everyone is on, on some goddamn cliffhanger. Yeah. But like, it, and if it is the last episode, it kind of sucks because it ends the same way the last season ended, where the Imperium, the the the, the Empire, fucking captures Omega again. I then then I gotta assume that it's not because I because this is they already said this is the last season, right? Well, then there must then there better be some more episodes because. Uh, yeah. I, I must admit, uh, I kind of fell off on the Bad Batch. I think I'm, I think I'm behind like three episodes now. Well, now the whole thing is like, oh, Omega, she, she, she might have midichlorians, but they're not calling it midichlorians. They, they said it the word once, but they keep, just keep calling it an M count. Yeah, I think uh, the last episode I saw was the one that had uh, Asajj Ventress. And I thought uh, I thought that episode uh, bored me to tears. Yeah, like I said, then I'm like, where are we where are we going with these clones? They're just all gonna die. <laughs> I think they're just I think they're just all gonna die. They're gonna die. <laughs> yeah. But for the real, did, did uh, Jimmy? Did you did you happen to catch uh, X Men? Get caught up? Yeah. Yeah, like episode five or whatever. Like people are buzzing about. I caught that. I, I think this episode is definitely like overhyped. 
I, I think mean, it was a good episode. It's, 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 it's getting the hype because it's being pulled from storyline. So it's like the potential of like, oh, this, this could be good if done right. I just feel though, like, hey, man, I, I just hope you're going to give it some time. And like, like I said, y'all are kind of speedballing story arcs in like one episode. Like that whole little mini episode with Storm and Forge last week was like a full arc. But they condensed it to like eight minutes. Yeah. You know? Then almost kind of forgot that it was like a to be continued. Then we get to this week's episode and we're not... That episode ain't even talked about. Like it's on hold. So, like, what happened there? Like I said, it was still a good episode. And, and like I said, I go back to all those people that were complaining about X-Men was going to be woke. I'm still waiting for the woke. I'm still waiting for the woke. I, I don't I don't think it's woke. I just think it's mid. Yeah, it's, it, it's a fine show. It's not, like I said, it's a mid show. But all that hype that people were trying to sit there and bait, fucking view bait for. No, he, uh, Morph is non-binary. Morph barely in the show. But the thing, the thing with, uh, the thing with like Morph and the non-binary, like I, I, I kind of just always assume that all shapeshifters are like our non-binary like you could go from being a man to a woman like you could literally be anything like gen v already did that like gen v already like gen v already took care of that you know what i mean but it's not even that it's the thing of just like people complained about oh morph is non-binary as if like you you would have thought that the whole show was just gonna be about morph like he's barely in the show so what 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 was what was the hubbub about crying that oh they turned morph non-binary what was the point of the hubbub if the dude's barely in the show i know people just just people gotta just people gotta stay mad like again it's like of course he's non-binary he could go from being a, a man to a woman and anything else under under the sun, so yeah, like of course he's not binary. Like you, like I don't understand. No, but see, that thing, the, I don't even want to talk was. about that as him being a shapeshifter. I need to know when people sat there and, and cried that oh they're pushing the, they're pushing the agenda and, and look look morph is is, is non binary and the show is woke and okay. So what what would what were they gonna push on us? What what were you expecting to get pushed on you? If if Morph is non binary, and, and and here we are now, like what five episodes in, and, and, and I have seen nothing of ideology being pushed on me. All I've seen is stories from X Men's past being condensed into thirty fucking minute episodes. You know, again, people just people just like to stay mad. And, and the part that was supposed to be. Like the, the the figurehead of this was gonna be the new woke X Men is barely in the show, barely in the show. There hasn't even oh. been a full episode about Morph yet. He was nowhere to be seen in in the last episode, and the one before that. I, I think it's just come to a point where. All of these movies and shows do the same thing that every time a new one comes out, we just automatically assume it's going to be the same. Doesn't mean it is. I mean, do you no, guys remember? The people online that are sitting there trying to race bait for clout and clicks. Yeah. And you dummies, know what? Let, and dummies let, sit there and fall for that shit. Of course they are. They, they, man, they've been doing that for like two decades since the internet came out. Let, let them talk. Like, it doesn't even matter no more. You know? Like, they're going to do this with every show and every movie that comes out. I got so much shit for... You guys remember Prey? I got so much shit online because I said, no, this is not going to be woke. And I was right. It wasn't. And people were just going ballistic on me because they like attention. They're, they're, they're attention whores. They're, they're all Woody's gamer tag, you know? Hmm. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> 
But I'm just like, I just feel like, I just don't get it, though. Like, if it's trash, I'll, I'll call it trash. But I'm like, I don't, I'm still waiting for the agenda to be thrown at me by the X-Men, but I'm not seeing anything. Maybe, maybe I'm the dummy. Maybe I'm not smart enough to get it. But anyway. Joker the musical, everyone. No. <laughs> hey, uh, you, you know what? Who knows? Maybe it'll be good. I don't know. Who knows? Well, let's jump Sam into... Sam. Your number one source for news and information. See, I would say I would sing, but I'm not gonna sing because Joker's a musical, so it's fake news. I do the opposite, see. Hey now. So, sorry, I'm sorry if I'm chewing in your ear, Chad. Which, by the way, I almost forgot. Big ups to everybody joining us here tonight. Appreciate y'all for coming. Oh my god, it's 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 delightful. It's like uh, you know, like those like ASMR videos. Oh no. A word you want to hear me crunch on potato chips? I'm eating some misfits. Yes. Yeah. If you really want, he's got to lick the mic. That's the only way to make it up to your ass. It's like music to my ears. Oh god. I'm eating uh, sour cream and onion Miss Vicky's. Oh, I like Miss Vicky. I like the jalapeno Miss Vicky's. Kettled. Kettled. So that's how you get that extra crunch. Mm. Okay, one more time. Just for that. Just for that. Mm. Robust. <laughs> Delight, delightful. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> All right, so from Bandai, we got a uh, Dragon Ball Super SH Figure Arts, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Unwavering Saiyan Pride. Yeah, it's it's nice. Um. I feel like we've already got a. I feel like we've already got Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta before. I could be. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we've already got this. But I guess if we, you know, I guess if you you don't have it, it's a. It's only thirty five bucks. It's a good opportunity to kind of go in. I might actually go in on that for thirty five bucks. Yeah. And you get folded arms. I can. I fuck with that. Yeah, this just a bare bones Vegeta. He, you know, he ain't coming with no extra frills and laces. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess you know, like if you if you wanna if you wanna collect uh, Dragon Ball, but you know you don't wanna you don't wanna be like dropping like bank, you know, because these guys can get these guys can get pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. And uh, this just this just a good opportunity to just get you. Uh, a bare bones Vegeta. Vegeta. Man, like a Super said, Saiyan God. Super bucks. Saiyan yeah, it's not too bad. Oh hell yeah, Trunks! You get there's a lot of third parties that uh, do uh, like different head sculpts if you try to swap things out or get a better version. So yeah, 35 bucks, November of 2024. Like I said, Flick News is kind of light today, so we should be able to go through this pretty quickly. All right, here we go from uh, whatever. 
Simpsons. We got Jax. we got Krusty the Clown from Jack. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He, that's right. They, they, they. That shall not be named. Uh, we got we got the Simpsons. Krusty talking plush doll. I like Krusty. I guess. I kind of want this. Hey, kids. This reminds me of uh, remember that like Treehouse of Horror episode where uh, he buy like Homer buys like the doll. The crusty doll. Yeah, this is like the one. Funny. Look, you can set it to evil. Yeah, it is. Yeah, look. First the thing would fucking move. Yeah, see, you had it set to evil. <laughs> oh. oh, it is. <laughs> I, re I remember that. I one, love yeah. the, that's the end of yeah. the show. That's your problem. You had it set to evil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's set to evil. And then at the end, he's uh, he's like living with the like Malibu Stacy doll. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good episode. That's a good. Where, where where would where would you rank that episode amongst a Treehouse of Four episodes? Would you would you say like top five? Mm, yeah, I would say top five. Pretty good. Those, those old like Treehouse of Horror episodes like used to be so good. Like those, like like Simpsons in general used to be really good, but those uh those old Treehouse of Horror ones used to be really good. Like the one with the zombies. My and they get rid of the... they, they get rid of all the guns, and then the zombies come back and like they have no way to fight them. <laughs> My favorite line from one of the, I forget which Treehouse it was. But I, used, I like to use it every now and then. It's, don't blame me. I voted for Kodos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Money, I'm going to get this. Did it? There's your problem. You had it set to eat. There's your problem. You had it set to eat. Oh, classic Simpsons. Oh, Trunks, the, the Death Note Treehouse of War episode was, yeah, that was really good. I, I, I like that episode because, uh, like, people people just watched it and they were like, oh, what is this, like, Treehouse of Horror episode? And, you know, you could kind of, like, you could kind of, like, educate them. Like I said, I'm, I might have to get it just because I have to keep it set to evil. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have it set to evil. Why does it toy have a Danny Neve switch though? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> you mean the toy maker was like, yeah, I want to make a doll, but I'm gonna put a Danny Neve switch on it. <laughs> and they were like, Danny Johnson, you're a genius. <laughs> Oh, the, yeah, the, the, the Shining episode was really good, too. That was a good one. No, uh, it was the Shining. The Shining. The shining. <laughs> it was the... shining, that's right. Yeah, it was the Shining. W Willie didn't want you to call it the Shining. He's afraid of copyright. <laughs> <laughs> right, well. Bro, did you, uh, did you see that? Did you see that meme where it's like... Uh... <laughs> It's like the the shinning episode, and it's like uh, like Seth Rollins is like he's coming in, and it's like don't worry, like I'll I'll save you, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that meme? No, I haven't seen that. <laughs> bro, I'm gonna, bro, I'm gonna send that shit to you right now. I'm gonna send that shit to you right now. <laughs> Alright, well, 40, 47 bucks, May of 2024. Like I said, I might, I might have to uh, pick up this crusty. My, my favorite part from the Shining episode is is Homer's trying to scare Marge. And he's like, uh, well, what's wrong? Are you scared? And then he looks at himself in the mirror and thinks <laughs> and falls down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> no TV and no beer makes Homer something something. I sent it. I sent it to you on uh, Messenger. Check it out when you get a chance. It's pretty funny. All right. Also from Jax, we have uh, Moe's Tavern prank phone. 
That's, hmm. that's cool. It's cool, I guess. That's less enticing for me. Yeah, it is. I've I've honestly never paid attention to the color of the phone that he he would pick up. So I, you know. But it's got pe- includes ten pranks. <laughs> It's fun. It's fun. For the true Simpsons fan. You'll get calls from Amanda Hug and Kiss. (laughs) And I get a man's hug and kiss. <laughs> yeah, I, I miss I miss good Simpsons episodes. Yeah. Yeah, I, like I I must admit I, I don't watch The Simpsons as much as I used to, but uh, some of those some of those old episodes were really really good. I think I really stopped watching The Simpsons after the movie came out. Well, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, that's when it stopped being good. Well, I mean, even I before the that... movie, it was kind of going downhill. And I was periodically watching, but not like the way I used to be, like religiously watching. But it's just like, yeah, after the movie, it's like, I just, I just stopped caring for it because it's like, what haven't you done already? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, what haven't you done? It's it's not that like I I go out of my way not to watch it, but I, it's just that like I don't I, I don't go out of my way to like seek out the new episodes. Like if I if I happen to be like, uh, like how many episodes of The Simpsons now TV? can you do of them going to the future? Yeah, because now there's like yeah. several different episodes where either we see Lisa's future or Bart's future or somebody but they're in the future and it's been like several episodes now where there's been like uh, dedicated to in the future See, those, those used to be really cool back in the day because they were rare yeah. yeah but now it seems like you might you probably get one of those one every season almost no I, I know I know I, I see promotions for them all the time yeah so, like, how many times uh, can you keep doing that? <laughs> Fun fact, my uh, my brother worked on, he did animation work for the Simpsons movie. And <laughs> I don't know if this is true. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure he worked on the scene where Bart shows his wiener. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was his contribution. <laughs> I animated his wiener. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the thing that kind of killed me because it's like every time I did kind of go back to watching The Simpsons, it's like even if it was a new episode, the new episode felt like just an old episode repackaged as a new episode. And this is like I said, how many times can you sit there and have Bart or Lisa? have a glimpse of what their future may or may not look like, but somehow their future seems to always be the same. Their future seems to always be the same. Lisa's having a good job. Bart's a bum. So it always seems to be the same future. Except in one future, Lisa's still successful, but also a serial killer. Oh, I don't think I saw that one. Yeah, it is. No, 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 it's... Like I said, I just get kind of tired of the trope of I'm. I want to see the Simpsons in the future. If, like, if you really want a future Simpsons, then just start aging up the cartoon characters. If you really want to get to this future point of Simpsons, like I, I feel like that's why I kind of tuned out of Simpsons because I, uh, I know it's a cartoon, but a cartoon family, you could at least age them up. Especially seeing as how, like, it's just, like, Simpsons stay within current year. 
but it's like nothing changes age wise, but yet I keep getting future episodes. It just it just got old. Like it really got old. Yeah, it had it. It had it. It had its time, man. I think it. I think like anything, it had its time. Like I said, I, I, it's crazy to sit here and go, man. I remember a time before The Simpsons ex existed, but I also remember a time where it's like, damn, I was a child when this shit came on. I'm a grown man now. You still here? Yeah. You still here? Yeah. Yep. I think it's like, I think too, like it's a little bit like I don't want to, I don't want to get all like existential, but I think it's a, a little bit of a thing too where I think uh, maybe I just like, maybe I just outgrew The Simpsons, you know? Like I, I was a, like I was a kid. Like I, I would, I, I would I almost agree it. with you. Then, I watched Matt, it if, as a if, kid. If, if when I went back as an adult and watched some of the classic Simpsons, it's still funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. It's 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 still good, but it's just uh, now if I watch it, I I like rewatching the older episodes because it's like a little nostalgic for me, versus versus watching the new episodes. Like I'd I'd rather watch the older episodes because it's like nostalgic and I could be like, oh man, like I remember watching. I remember I used to watching this episode as a kid. I'm more excited for the prospect of that. Versus like, oh man, I can't wait till uh, Sunday to watch a new episode of The Simpsons. Yeah, but like now, it's just like, I just, I don't, I don't care to watch it because it's like, what, 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 what new are you actually doing? Yeah. So, uh, I just, like I said, I just, I, I just fell out of it. And like I said, it's, just, eh. it's too, I think, I, I think it's a little a little bit like uh i think like cartoons have have uh evolved a little bit if, if that makes any sense you, you know like something like a family guy like where it's like a it's like a little more like edgy um so then if you watch that and then you go to like the simpsons where it's like it's much more like tame it's much more like family friendly you know i, I think it's just like it it's just where I am in my life, I guess. Well, see, that's even the thing. Simpsons always was for adults. Because most of the jokes were adult innuendo, adult-oriented anyway. Even when told from bar. Uh, agreed, but I think that, like, what was for adults in the 90s versus what was what's for adults in 2024 you know mm. or again like i don't know like i like like uh, if we're talking like my, what's my favorite cartoon to watch like right now like probably like it's it's like bob's burgers but it's because bob's burgers is like it's that like everyday like everyday like kind of comedy you know like what king of the hill was Just I, like hear bring, I hear they're bringing that back. Like, just, like, everyday, like, everyday, like, funny, like, situations. Hmm. 47 bucks for, for Mo's phone if you're, if you're about that Mo life. Get you a phone. Reach out and call someone. I, so yeah, this was kind of, this was kind of a little, little, uh, little bit of a surprise drop from uh, Hasbro. We're getting this uh, classic Wasp and Tiny Giant Man two pack. Well, tiny Giant Man. That's exclusive. Or Ant Man. It's, I know because he ain't got the helmet on. He's tiny. Yeah. Tiny, tiny Giant, Giant Man. Man. Tiny Giant Man. It's, it's, it's a fine, it's a fine two pack. Um, I, I feel like 
Does he come with the Ant Man helmet at all? Nope. Just the the giant man because they already released the classic one. Remember, not that long ago. See, I feel like I feel like this two pack is good for one of two things. If you got the Haslab Giant Man, then this two pack is perfect. It's perfect for you. Because, you know, you get a wasp to pair with them and you get that tiny version of Giant Man if you want to do like uh like some kind of like perspective of him like growing and just have like many different Giant Man figures. Or I feel like this is good for people that didn't get the Haslab and they're like, ah, oh, you know, like I I'm I'm good with just I'm good with just Giant Man in his in his tiny in his tiny mode. Like I don't need him to be huge. I'm good with Giant Man in his tiny mode. I feel like this two pack is perfect for either one of those people. But uh I'm neither one, so I'm not getting this. Uh it it did get it did get funded, Daniel. Giant Man absolutely got funded. Yeah. Tiny giant I mean, I, man. I fund a giant man, and I'm considering this. Like I said, I think I might, I might get them just to throw them in with my classic Avengers, but I, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent. Does does it does it still does it still count if I does it still count if I act giant man, but then I just never paid for it? Does that still does that still count as me funding it? Uh, I don't so, know. Cause I was like one of I was like one of the numbers. Like I was like I was there for the numbers. <laughs> this two packs should have been one of the tears. <laughs> Jim, Jimmy's just like, all right, like let's move on from this motherfucker. <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> I'm confusing me. Like you backed <laughs> it, you didn't pay for it. Yeah, like I like I backed it, and then like I never I never paid for it, and then they sent me an email. And they're like, yeah, you got to pay for it by this date or else we're going to cancel your giant man. And then, like, I, I forgot about it. Actually, I didn't forget about it. I just, I, I didn't want it in the end. But, uh, you know, rather than cancel it, I was like, no, I'll still be part of the numbers. <laughs> so so did, did they cancel it? Yeah, they did. Oh, okay. So you, you didn't back it. But I was like, I was like, like, I backed it. Like, I was like one of the numbers. Like if That's I would have can if I would have canceled, you guys would have had like one less number. That's like proposing to someone and saying now you have a broken engagement because they said no, no, <laughs> you didn't back That's it. What, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, it's like it's like you know you know like uh, thinking about doing something nice produces the same amount of endorphins as if you actually do it so like just Not think true. just just thinking about doing something good feels just as good as if you don't actually do it that's what i that's what i'm saying like i i didn't i didn't actually like fund it but i was like i was there on the front lines with you guys you know like i i had it <laughs> i had it <laughs> like i had it or uh, yeah. i had it ordered <laughs> Yeah, you were in that marriage arena, but you you didn't get married, did you? Exactly. Uh, uh, exactly. I'm gonna report you. Well, oh this is uh, fifty dollars. It'll you'll have to fund fifty dollars for this. Should have been a tear. Well, uh, oh, it's my favorite Captain America, Sam what Wilson. Is, what is this? Why is Falcon, Iron Man. Is this, it's he's Iron Man. You don't like Iron Man? Because it's sentinel. Why is he Iron? Why is he Iron Man though? Because he's Sam Wilson. He can be anything. Even Iron Man. Even Iron Man. He's the new Iron Patriot. Just look at him. He's Iron Bird Man. I'm, I'm He's like, Captain I, I, Iron Bird Man Falcon. Captain I'm Wilson. Oh, sorry, man. Go ahead. Oh, no. I was just making a sarcastic remark. Go ahead. 
I'm excited for this next Captain America movie, but only because I want to see Red Hulk. I could kind of, I could kind of care less about uh, Falcon. I don't, I don't, I, n- I never really been into Falcon. Like, I never thought Falcon was like a cool character. I don't think anybody did. <laughs> Like, I don't um, think he's ever had. Hulk. I don't think he's ever had a real fan base. I'm just gonna be honest. I can see he's he's just he's just the guy that flies around like a bird. You love the Falcon. You love. I love His name is Falcon. I love man. Cap. I love Captain Falcon. You love. Oh yeah, Captain, Captain Falcon. Falcon yeah. Birdman. I love Hawkman. Oh yeah, Hawkman's cool. Yeah, Hawkman's cool. Like he has like a big like mace. Like he like he like he like whoop your ass. Uh, uh I like uh, uh, fuck. I'm blanking on the X Men character. Angel. Yeah. Uh, but also, uh, also all this talk, uh, all this talk about like Falcons and Birdmen, uh, just feels like a good time to just remind everybody that uh, birds aren't real. Huh? You're manufactured by the government. Yes. Canadian government. Yeah. That's why like, you know, like that's why you got free health care over there. Bird, like birds aren't real. Like they're actually just like government drones. They're, Set they're the not spy on real. us and, and spread exactly. disease. Yes, exactly. Is the is the Earth flat too? No. Uh, it's round. Are you are you sure? Yeah, of course. But the birds aren't real. They're not real. Yeah, like they're not real. They're just government drones. Oh shit! Uh, that's what they're happens when real. you drink bag milk, huh? You ever you ever you ever see a bird lay an egg? Um, n- no, no. I exactly 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 <laughs> yeah. Like, you know why you never. <laughs> <laughs> you know why you never saw a bird lay an egg? Because they don't. Because they're not real. They're just government drones. What about chickens? Thank you. I see the chicken chickens lay an are... egg. Yeah, chickens are birds. They are birds. They have wings. <laughs> what? Wait, no. I they have wings. <laughs> they are birds. Yeah, mis- no. mosqu- mosquitoes have wings too. That doesn't make them birds. No, but they're insects. Uh, go back to school. Exactly. But, but but chickens chicken. lay eggs. I've seen a chicken lay an egg. It shot yeah, an egg chicken. behind his butt. Yeah, chickens are chickens are, are real. Then how am I eating chicken then? What is that? That's, that's what I'm saying. foods? No. No, that's what I'm saying. Chickens are real, but birds aren't real. But how come chickens and birds got the same bone structure then? How come if I cook a so, pigeon... It it'll be shaped like a uh, a chicken when I when You're I, cooking when I pluck its feathers. Fuck. I'm That's just saying fair. hypothetical, That's like a quail or a pheasant, or like a, a loon. one of those. It's, they shape like a like a chicken or a turkey. That's a big bird, and he's shaped uh, like a chicken. Come on now, how how you explain that? What about a pterodactyl? Yeah, you exactly. What about an ostrich? What about a shoe bill? What about shoe bills? What about a cockatoo? What about a cock? Oh, it's a family show. Yeah, Jimmy, come on. No, I'm talking about the cock. They go cock-a-doodle-doo, and I go, yay, it's cock. This guy talking about his cock. This guy always with the sexual in but, uh, endos here he, why why this why this takes such a turn like mm-hmm. i'm just, we're talking just, about just, foul creatures and and feathery friends like ducks i what about the a ducks real i own a pet cock yeah ducks are real I ordered black vulture well, ducks are birds no ducks are ducks no ducks are birds stupid ducks are ducks duck is a duck you, you got the brain of a duck duck it's a duck. That's why it's called the duck. No, quack, not, quack. Not a bird. bird. But a bird's not yeah. a bird. A bird's a pigeon or or a blue jay or an oriole or a woodpecker. Listen, you could call or, Oreo. You could, you could you could call a hamburger a sandwich. Doesn't doesn't make it so. <laughs> it, it doesn't. It, it definitively doesn't. It's a hamburger sandwich. 
listen, listen, listen. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just, I'm just telling you, birds aren't real. You heard it, Chad. Hey, but what? When was the last time you got an MRI? Uh, like one of those like army meals. <laughs> for me please <laughs> is oh it, you mean an mre <laughs> is that what you is that what, yeah that's what you that's what you said <laughs> right yeah he got me there i didn't expect that <laughs> yeah <laughs> the military. That's what you meant, right? <laughs> no, no. He, he was talking about the the thing that scans your brain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> MRI. MRI. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, Sam here is a hundo, July of 2024. Oof. All right, from uh, Hiya Toys, you know, Hiya you know, Toys, they, they, make, uh, they make the Predators and the Dutch Dread. Doing uh, Daryl, Daryl, Daryl Dixon from... Yeah, I guess it's specifically the one from the Daryl TV show that I did not watch. I don't think anybody did. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really, uh, never really, like, a Daryl guy. Like, I was never, like, a Daryl, like, fanboy. But it's, it's Norman Reedus, guys. <laughs> It's like I don't know, like I don't know. He he kind of kind of had his moments, I guess. Like when he threw the grenade in the army tank, I guess that was kind of cool. Yeah. My name's Daryl Dixon. My hair is really long. I never cut it. I'm I'm good. I'm good on this. I'm good on this. I'll get you one. I, again, I didn't. I didn't really. I didn't really like that show because it was just basically like. Uh, it was just basically like Dollar Store, Last of Us. We're the like no, I'm pretty sure. Last that. of Us. Come on. But I get you know, like if you wanna, if you wanna one twelfth, you wanna one twelfth, <laughs> Daryl. Then there you, go. you know what's sad is this show is probably more is probably closer <laughs> to the Last of Us than the actual oh. Last of Us TV show. <laughs> Last of us, the last of us. But, but, but he fights the Death Stranding. You guys don't like the Death Stranding. I need more killing in my movies and TV shows. I need more violence. Look, he drinks monster uh, energy drinks, though. Just like in the game, guys. You need to pay $110 for this June of 2025. Uh-oh. No, I'm not paying $110. Bucks. What, this is $110? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. What the fuck? Pay up, bitch. Pay up, pay up, pay up. I, 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 I came to collect. Why is it so expensive? Ooh. So, you can either buy... Four and a half Daryl Dixons, or you can buy one Fallout T forty five Power Armor Hot Rod Shark Edition. Hot Rod, have you watched the Fallout show yet? Nope. No, why not? I have not. Are you because not a I, I don't. Fan? You're not a real fan. You're I'm gonna watch it. When it You're when not I'm gonna watch it when it feels you? right, Biatch. You're Listen, my cock is man. getting scared, okay? You are phony, man. You are a pretender. You do not like video games. You are a fake gamer. 
You, sir, are a fraud. Or like a, a lamer. You're no gamer. You're a lamer. Look, you're lame like this yeah. gentleman, this dark-skinned, complected gentleman, this hey, Negro hey, hey. Domus. That's, hey, hey, man. hey. Yeah. That's excluding him. You can't I, do that. I'll exclude him all I want. Take your black he ass said, home. He said the N-word. I heard it. Keep it up. I'm a nigga. That's racist, bro. I actually, I actually want this though. Uh, I actually want this one, but brother, I wanted uh, it like 112. What's that? What's like, that, brother? I know, uh, like I know, McFarlane is doing is doing one, but it's uh, it's, it's the movie maniacs, and it's like unarticulated. I don't want that shit. This one's cool, but I I want them to do like this is the T forty five power armor, which is my favorite. Because it's from Fallout Three, but they like put this. They put like the it's called Hot Rod Shark. So they have all these decals on it. I just want them to do a regular T forty five, uh, like just all silver. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is really tempting, though. It really is because they're kind of giving everybody a second shot at these power armors, and it's either going on them now or lose them forever. So. Yeah, I I would I would pick up one. I would pick up one just to kind of just to kind of throw on my like miscellaneous shelf. But I, I want like one that's articulated. Like I don't want the Mc... I don't want the movie maniacs one. See, I think I'm actually gonna pick up that movie maniacs line though uh, of the Fallout stuff. Like there's yeah? there's uh, yeah there's so few like merch like figure wise for for this for these games that I, i'm just gonna pick them up just to have them you know i feel you i feel you yeah because like right now i don't have like that's one of the few franchises that i don't have a single figure for so might as well i'll, I'll, I'll like i'll pick up the power armor see if i like it and then if it's cool i might get the others okay i feel you Uh, I'm not a fan of the gun this guy comes with, though. Unless that's like the gauze rifle, and I'm just not paying attention. Or because they added a lot of new weapons to Fallout Four that I didn't recognize, and I, uh, yeah, I, I would have preferred like a Fat Man or something. But I'm I'm nitpicking. It's my job. That's why I was hired here, you know. <laughs> Listen, if they if they ever scale it down to one twelve, then they got my money. Hot Rod Shark. And if you want this in the game, you've got to pay Bethesda twenty dollars for this skin. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. It's you guys know the Angry Joe yeah, meme yeah, where he's uh, he's Brothers like you you're gonna make, charge me twenty dollars for blue for fucking blue. Yeah, they gave footage of the title because we're almost looking. Basically, game star. Third person that said it now, Matt. What? The undisputed WWE champion. The universe yep. is going away. Yeah, but on his nameplate, it said universe. They're champion. gonna fix it. Trust me, they'll fix it. He'll get a. He'll get a. Uh, eventually, he's gonna get another belt, and it'll be gone. You, you'll, 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 you won't. You'll blink, and you'll miss it. But and Triple H, the what? Triple H, and now both announcers have announced him. As the undisputed WWE champion, that's and still the, slowly the, phasing away the Universal name. On the website, he's still listed as Universal. For champion. now, for now. 
But WWE likes to feed it to you slowly. Get get, <laughs> right. get you comfortable with it again. Right. And then eventually you'll 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 tune into SmackDown and you you'll notice that that belt no longer will say Universal Champion on it. I promise you that. Uh, I'm the and Universal. They've champion. already they're already getting it, making it a comfortable thing to say again. So, like I said, Triple H said it, and now two announcers announced him as WWE Champion, not Universal, just Champion. Even the the wording of his name was wrong, and it said Universal, but they keep announcing it because again, it, it's it's gonna phase out. They're gonna phase it out. All right, well, statue man here, four hundred and thirty dollars with a forty three dollar deposit. So Jimmy you got pay up, pay up, pay up. I I give them interest. Well, one hundred and seven dollar fifty cent payment. And I'm gonna give them one hundred eight dollars to show my goodwill. Yeah, let's go. All right, I saw this here from uh, P <laughs> PCS Collectibles. We've got the Marvel Game Verse Game Verse Classic Juggernaut One Ten Scale Statue, and uh, yeah, it's a nice, uh, pretty beefy looking Juggernaut there, standing uh, standing uh, strong on his feet, looking like he's ready to truck down the competition. You could probably pose them with your Marvel Legends. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? He's chubby. He's beefy. Look at the striations. He's in that awkward stage of I'm fat, but I'm also buff. Choose. Nah, he's like, I'm buff. Look at my look at my back. Look at the look at the striations. Look at the back. Do you think? You think if I put an apple in between his shoulder blades, he can squish it? Yeah, because he's built different. Oh, shit. Okay. That would be convenient to make apple juice. Because I squeeze it in my meaty hands. Ew, no. I don't like his hands. It's gross. But he'll make you the freshest juice ever. No, I don't want the juggernaut juice, okay? I don't want the juggernaut juice. No, I don't. You want the juicy. You, the you juicy, might. You want the juicy fruit. No, well, I like juicy fruit. I like that candy. Oh, Two fifty, twenty five dollar deposit. Fourth quarter of 2024. Get it. Overly priced Deadpool. From Mecca. Marvel classic Deadpool life-size form statue. How many of these you buying? Look at this. Look at Jimmy. You can stand next to it like this. You can have one in every room so you're never alone. Oh, my. Imagine you standing next to Deadpool and that lady, Jimmy. I want Jimmy to get one of these for each of us. Mm-hmm. What am I doing? in my bathroom. Oh, do I get the lady, too? It'll be like uh, it'll it, it'll like be like a, a sign of our friendship. Like we'll each you have like she, a, a life size Deadpool. You think she's wearing a Rolex? You think that's worth anything? Get some money back. Oh, really, Bryce Deadpool? Oh, that's not a Rolex. That's fucking. I'm poor. Watch. The, 
Jimmy's like gonna shirt. stand next to it and take a p- picture of it. He's gonna grab his bulge. Oh, he doesn't even have a bulge. He's smooth down there. How you know he's smooth? Look at that. What? How you know he's smooth? I mean, you can see it. Look, that he might as well be a lady. There's nothing down Why there. Why are you looking so hard? Oh my god! Because he told me he has a bulge. That's where my Why eyes did I went. Tell you? Jesus I, didn't tell you anything. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> It's not about the size of the bulge. It's how you use it, okay? You use your bulge? I don't want to know. Fuck, man. Look here. No one's using anyone's bulge, okay? Yeah, Jimmy. Well, now you've piqued my curiosity, so I'm going to think about it. All right, Mr. MRE. Yeah. Each MRI, be quiet at each MRIs, okay? <laughs> okay, whatever you say. You don't go to where to eat those MRIs, you hear me? It's like vitamins. <laughs> no dessert eat for you. Eat your MRIs. No. no dessert for you, no penicillin for you. Yeah. God damn it, Matt ruined everything with his MREs. Oh man! Yeah, you owe me. I'm coming here with them homemade MRE energy. Get out of here! I ate paint chips when I was a kid. Well, here's here's how much it's going to cost you to to buy a friend, Jimmy. Again, does it come with a lady? Ladies, the lady's extra. She's the she's the, she's the three. She's the down payment. Non refundable. Uh, I'm going to refund her. I don't know if I can raise that much money by fourth quarter of this year, guys. That's why you got those payment plans. Well, you better get out there and work, bitch. I do work. You better work harder. I work for, I work for the show, I get paid shit. Why well, you have to go out there and turn a trick, hoe? Like whore myself? No, I didn't say all that. That's what you meant. I was though. saying you need to just go out there. Oh, he called himself WWE champion. You're just providing a a service, Jimmy. You're a handsome companion. Like you're, a cop? you're not a whore. You're just a handsome companion. Oh. You don't have to have sex with them. You know, even though butt stuff is on the table, it doesn't mean you have to. That's what uh, Pimp Frank told you, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. I like his chains. Listen, I don't want to have to hit you. Don't make me do it. <laughs> Just go, just go give that lady what she wants. Yeah, you gonna bang old ladies? This is uh, turning into an unpleasant conversation. I mean, you know, old old ladies need love too. Don't 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 get involved. You're scaring me. Hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for fig news. Like I said, we have a it was a light one this week. <clears throat> That's okay. But 
we do have the Joker trailer to go over if y'all want to check that out now. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, sure. I got some stuff to say about it. All right, hopefully they don't strike us for this. So we're going to take a look at the new uh, trailer for Joker. Fale Adu. Is that how they pronounce it? Fale Adu? Mm-hmm. I think so. Cool Warner Brothers. Let's take a look. Let me just shift here. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? See, like, this is where they, like, lure you in. Like, at first, like, it looks interesting. To balance the fractures within ourselves. And then there's Lady Gaga. Nobody. Oh, there. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Love music. The scene. They're dancing. It's a, it's a loser question. See, like, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of have a weird feeling that like it's gonna be like they're gonna do the same thing for the first one, where like this whole movie is gonna like all take Tell place inside. Of what's changed, are there? Like the ending is gonna reveal that like, like what's changed. Har- Harley Quinn is never are. real. And everything just that's what we should be talking about. I thought about. the ending at the, I thought the twist at the end of the first one was that he realized who Batman was. So are we gonna talk about that in this one? There is no Batman. Yeah, I don't think there is a Batman. Bruce was still a kid in the first one. I wanna see the real But like, the ending like, alluded to that. I don't know. Like, people have been saying the ending of, of the first one takes place years into the future, where Batman already exists. Oh, I never can, I never heard that. Yeah, because his hair is grayed, and, like, the reason he's laughing and it shows Bruce with his dead parents in the in the alley is because he finally figures out who Batman is. Oh. That's so, interesting. I never, I, never, I never heard that, but that's interesting. What yeah. Do we, what, what, do we, what do we think of this? What do we think? I think it looks all right. I mean, it looks like uh, it looks interesting. I don't know, man. I just for me, it's the musical thing, and it's 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 not it's not like I don't it's not like I have a problem with musicals, but it's just the first one wasn't a musical, so the second one shouldn't be. Yeah. Like if you if you establish that, hey, we're making these Joker. We're making this franchise of standalone Joker movies, and they're all going to be musicals. And then you kind of establish that from the beginning. And okay, that's one thing, because then I I can make that decision right from the start. I can make the decision right from the start that, like, yeah, like, I'm not invested in a musical Joker. But when the first one's not a musical, and then now you make, like, the second one is a musical, it's like, well... I want to see it because I, I I already I watched the first one. I'm invested in the first one. I I want to see like what's next for this character. But now you're forcing me to watch a musical that I I don't want to watch. Uh, my issue is a little different. I actually don't have a problem that this one is a musical and the last one wasn't. 
Like, it's fine if he wants to, like, if the director wants to just mess with another genre for the sequel, that's cool. But I feel, and you talked about this yesterday, I feel like the only reason this is a musical is because they realize they can get somebody like Lady Gaga to, to star in it, you know? Like an, a, 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 a senior turned actress who most notably acts in movies that have to do with music, right? You see, like, yeah, like, that's... That's the other thing. I, I don't know... Lady Gaga is a weird pick for Harley Quinn. I, I, I don't know... I don't know. I, I just feel like Harley Quinn is a character that, like, you 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 have to have a certain level of uh, like, what do you what do you call it? Like charisma, you know. I've yeah. Never, I've never seen Lady Gaga act, so I don't I don't know if she has that level of charisma. Like, I wonder is this actually gonna be Harley Quinn? Or is this just is this just an example of let's cast Lady Gaga, and let let's write this role specifically for Lady Gaga, and let's cast Lady Gaga in this movie, and let's make it a musical because we got Lady Gaga. But you know what? Let's let's make her. Let's just make her. Let's just call her Carly Quinn, so that people will feel like, or, or people people will feel more enticed to watch the movie because Harley Quinn is a name that they know and care about. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. Like, like again, I, I, I wonder if, like, this movie and this character was all written around Lady Gaga and then they just, let's just call let's just name, let's just call her Harley Quinn to try to get the, to try to get the comic fanboys in here. And, like, why aren't we doing the classic like Harley storyline where she was a, a psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. That would have been way more enticing than she's just another patient, you know? Yeah, see, like that's what I mean. That's that's why I feel like they're that's why I feel like they're 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 bait and switching us. Like it's like she's gonna be called Harley Quinn, but she's not actually like she's not gonna be Harleen Quinzel that makes any sense no oh, i i know what you mean because harley quinn that that's 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 a big part of her character a big part of her character is that she was like a psychiatrist and the joker the joker made her kind of lose her mind like that's such a that's such a big part of like who her character is you know yeah So that that's what makes me feel like, again, like this is not going to be a Harley Quinn that we we think it is. Like it feels like they just called her that. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of like a I'm trying to think of like a good example, but um I I, I can't think of a good example, but y'all y'all know what I'm saying, right? No, I know, I know what you're saying. It's they're they're gonna they're gonna trick us, basically. Kind of kind of like what they did with the Mandarin, right? Where we're calling this guy the Mandarin, but he's not really the real Mandarin. You know? Or like, or like, uh, yeah, exactly. So, I, I don't know. I'm I'm more curious because clearly the you know this is turning into a franchise. So, where is this all gonna go? down the road right yeah that, that's what i'm kind of curious about you know because clearly like this is not the type of world where you over the top superheroes so i don't know i don't know where this will go yeah. I, <laughs> I have a feeling she's gonna die in this movie <laughs> There ain't gonna be no Harley Quinn after this. We'll kind of, we'll kind of have to wait and see. I, I, I did, I did like the first one a lot. I did, I did, uh, I did enjoy the first one a lot. So I'll, at the very, at, at the most, like I'll give this, I'll give this movie a fair chance. 
I, I like the first one too. I just wish it was longer. Yeah. It just felt really short. But yeah, I liked it too. But I'm I'm just I'm 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 worried about uh wouldn't even say I'm worried, but I'm just I'm I'm skeptical on the this whole like Harley Quinn thing. We'll, we'll find out I said soon, I, so we'll see. Yeah, Does it follow in the footsteps of the first that won them an Academy Award, or is this just a cash grab? So, oh, unless, unless the scene where she's, what if the scene where he sees her in the asylum? What if that's like the the very end of the movie? Like after they both get captured and sent back to Arkham. It could be. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out sooner or then later. So uh, I'm trying to think. My. Uh, my my theory is actually that uh, she gets put in Arkham by her choice early in the movie. Because, like, at the end of the trailer, she's talking to him behind glass, right? Yeah, so clearly, yeah. Clearly, that's visiting hours, you know? Yeah. See, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We shall see. Oh, we didn't talk about X Men. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, cable. Uh, so I I thought like I I think that I had this episode over over hyped uh to me. Hey, the the okay, like the way people were the way people were talking about it was like uh I I think it was just over hyped to me, like uh the way this episode. Uh, the way I saw this episode was dis- described was a uh, complete bloodbath. I don't really think it was that. And I think that th- they they really, they really, I guess, okay, I guess, I guess we should say, like, we should say spoilers, like, we should throw out a spoiler warning because uh, this is an episode that maybe you want to kind of watch. You knew something was gonna happen to Gambit. I guess as as soon as they did the thing where, like you know, she's she's talking to him about like, uh, oh, like she thinks she wants to be with Magneto because she's like, I can't be with Gambit. I can't be with you because like like we could never touch, you know. And he's basically saying like he doesn't care about that. Like to him, like love is more than just like physical contact, and then. You know, they they have the scene where she's, like, dancing with Magneto, and then Gambit walks off, 
And then she tells Magneto, like, like, uh, no, like, I'm sorry, I can't be with you. Like, Gambit's right, you know, like, he, he's right. Like, love is just about more than just physical contact. Like, y you kind of knew something was going to happen to Gambit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you nice, uh, nice little uh, cameo from uh, the Watcher. I thought that, I thought that was cool. Like you know, it's nice that uh, even though we know this, it, it takes place in its own universe. You know, it's kind of nice to just to just to make that little connection. You know, you know, just to just to kind of. Let you know that hey, like you know, everything is everything is connected in in some way or another. Cause you know, like that's kind of that's kind of how it's always been. Like there's only there's there's not a multiverse of watchers. Like there's only one watcher, and he watches every single universe. So I thought that was cool. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. There yeah, agreed. Uh there was uh there was some fun like there was some fun like guest appearances in this episode. Uh, we got to see the return of Banshee. We got to see Emma Frost. Uh, Mul multiple Man, right? Mul multiple Man. S Sebastian Shaw. Glob Herman was there. Pixie. Yeah. And Right, so. See, I think in like, I think in in my my ideal, my ideal scenario would be like, I want I want half of, I want half the X Men to die, like maybe even <laughs> like maybe even like more than half. Like I want a good chunk of them to die at the end, and then if if we do potentially get another season, like I wanna I wanna see like a new team.
I th I think uh, I think one of the writers, uh, he's like a writer or something. He tweeted that uh, episode five was basically like an appetizer for uh, episodes eight, nine, and ten. Uh, I I hope I hope not. I want like I want like half the characters like okay so Gambit dies he can stay dead I don't know like kill off Jean Grey get rid of like uh get rid of I don't know get rid of Storm no maybe get rid of uh maybe get rid of Beast I don't know man like I want I want like half the characters to die and then I want season 2 to have like new X-Men characters but those are the, those are the good characters. Like I'm just, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of tired of seeing the same, this the same characters over and over again. Nah, nah, keep, keep. keep. I, I don't like it. That's a, that's a, that would, that would totally, that would kind of totally turn me off. Don't do that. Like, don't, don't, don't. That's why. That's why. Uh, that's why. Like, American comic books are stupid. Don't, uh, don't cop out. Like, you, 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 you kill, you, you kill them off. Keep them dead. Have the, have the fucking balls to keep them dead, Disney. <laughs> no, for no, for no, for real, man. Because it's it's stupid. Like, if you. If you just kill off, if you just kill off a character, and then just be like, "Oh, well, we're just gonna bring them back," and I, I don't care the next time. Like then, there's no stakes. There's there's no stakes then. It's like the it's like the it was like the problem with uh, that was like the big problem I had with Dragon Ball, is they would always kill off characters and be like, "Oh no, like Piccolo's dead again. I guess we better bring him back with the Dragon Balls." So it's like there was never stakes because anytime somebody died, you could just wish them back into existence. I don't, I don't want, I don't want to see that shit. I want like, like I said, kill off the majority of this team, and then season two, I want like a new team with like fresh characters. Like, give, give me like Nightcrawler, like give me Colossus, give me like Magic, like throw Magic in there. Maybe throw like Iceman in there. Maybe have like Cable. That's what I. That's what I want. That's what I want this this show to do. You can't have what you want, Maddie. You just can't, boy. I mean, we'll see what happens. Oh. Whoa. You fucking bit me, dude. <laughs> They're running out of people. <laughs> <laughs> They ran out of twins. They ran out of twins, man. Ah, uh, siblings. Dayton. 
He, he's let's look at his smile. He's blowing her out. Okay. It's like, what's happening to my pee pee? It's never done that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hell. Yeah. I say, I'm, I'm going to say sibling. <clears throat> Uh, I told, uh, the the P, I told you the PP gave it away. Dang. <laughs> no, Dang. The, now, he, I'm, he, now I'm he, one he, behind. He, It's like he's digging. His I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know all the brother and sisters in the world, but he's like he's digging. He, he's digging. He's digging his hand into her side, and he's like, uh, he's like, do they really have one less rib than me? Is it true? Gang. Now I'm a point behind. Let's do it. The hell's on their head. Okay. Hey, hold on, hold on. So the first thing, first thing is the body language. Like her breasts are very squished up against his body. But is that like, is that like too obvious? Is that like a dead giveaway? Yeah. That's where I'm, that's where I'm leaning to. What? Oh, why, why are they know. wearing mops on their head? Oh, it's not working. <laughs> what the fuck's that? Uh, so the bloodline is going to be Solo and Tamatanga now? Jimmy's out? What? I'm the Uso's going to get back together, bro. Okay, I'm... I'm gonna say sibling because their junk it because their junk is pretty far apart. Don't 
their junk is pretty far apart. That makes me think sibling. Tomatonga? Yamaguchi? The amazing Yamaguchi? Seems like it. I mean, I'm not mad at it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's what it seems like. That's what it seems like uh, is happening. Like Solo is uh like Solo is stepping up as like the, the next leader and he's like he's forming his own bloodline. Like maybe we'll get uh we'll get Jacob Fatu as well. Ukulele? Ukulele. The fact that the fact that we're not going to hear the God entrance music anymore makes me sad. R I R I P to R I P to that entrance song. Why is Jimmy out? What the heck is happening? I'm si I'm sticking with sibling. I'm sticking with sibling. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with Dayton. I think he's gonna mop out her mop later, if you know what I mean. That's yeah. Racist. Pretty gross, I know, but it's gonna happen. It's procreation, gentlemen. I have spoken. Eight all right. Hey. Uh, hey. I know it. I knew hey. it. Hey. Two for two, baby. Let's go. Hey. I'm a genius. Uh, you said, yeah, yeah, you did. You were with me. So now Jimmy's in the lead. Mm hmm. The, the, the mops gave it away. I told you. Everybody called me racist. Hey, 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 I'm not a nerd. Yeah, nerds are smart. Hey, hey. Oh, shit. This guy's oh, like, man. I slides in my See? head so I can be like the young people, even though I'm 40. Bro, this gotta be, this gotta be sibling, man. This Look, they got the same, like, they got the same, like, facial structure. Look at me. He's just curious. Again, he... No, he's curious. Like, how many ribs does she have? Listen, this guy just screams, I'm a chiropractor, okay? Look at me.
I couldn't get through med school, so here I am. But I got this hot lady who may or may not be my sister. Where is her hand? That's what I want to know. I don't see it wrapped around. Uh, I don't want to get three wrong, man. <laughs> I want to get. I don't want to be down three points. I'm gonna go Dayton. Yeah, I'm going Dayton. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say. No, I'm. I'm a. Damn. I don't know. I don't know. Get you together, son. Get your shit together. I'm gonna say sibling. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta catch up here. I'm gonna say sibling. I'm, I'm no, gonna say I... sibling. I think those their faces. They got that same like cheekbones. Mm, that's why he went for her. Uh, mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Siblings, but they're fucking. They're fucking. So, so technically, we're both right. It's just like the birds thing again. Don't encourage him. Damn. Wow. Who? He still he still works there? Oh, your man didn't even get in. Your man did your man didn't even get an entrance. I love to see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just, you stay where you are. Eight day tongue. I don't know, man. Day tongue. Now look at the noses. Look at the noses. Yeah, but these are just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Listen, oh, hey, man, hey. The noses. I'm hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Friends yeah, fight. They... I get it. Hold on. Bastards. There's, there's something. Yeah, those noses. Oh, my God. Their noses look identical, bro. Let, I mean, listen, if he shaved, he'd look like her. No offense to him. I don't know. Yeah, this is a tough one. At first, I thought like Dayton, but then Jimmy said about the noses, and then the noses maybe be like, hmm. Yeah. You know, I, I'm going to go with Dayton. Listen, two siblings. At the end. Yeah. Listen- I think the noses are too obvious. I think the noses are too obvious. Listen, Dayton. if they if, if they were siblings, this would be a different kind of picture. Two siblings just don't go on a vacation to a snowy mountain and take a selfie. Yeah. I don't see no other family nearby. That's like a desolate rock back there. Nah. 
they they they're if, fucking on the ice. What if That's they what if, what if they just murdered the rest of their family and this is their first picture after dumping their bodies? And then they'd have to end up on Explore with us, right? <laughs> didn't, th- didn't think about that, did you? No, fucking serial killers. Yeah, sir, we got uh, two Jeffrey Dahmers up here on this mountain. <laughs> All right. I... Those noses, though, bro. What are you saying, Jimmy? Uh, Dayton. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm... No, no, I'm going to go siblings, man. Those noses. Those noses. Siblings. Siblings. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Fuck. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. God, I blame Smith. He fucking poisoned in my mind. Like, you don't. He's like, he's like, Jimmy, what do you know? And I question myself. <laughs> Bro, what's what's wild is Jimmy, you were you you were right about the the first time the noses. I said I said Daytong, and then Jimmy persuaded me to say siblings with the noses. Yeah, and then I was and, and then and then I was discriminated against, and then I changed my mind. <laughs> you right, saw what happened. It's on air. It's recorded. Let's go. All right. I Boy. count. This- your boy's on the board now. Your boy's on the board now. I can't win. I can't win, but at least I'm on the board. Manipulator. Why is that guy just by himself? <laughs> no, it's him in the microphone. What do you mean? Uh. about those two guys <laughs> the the two uh Harold Ramuses yeah oh okay oh those are dudes I thought they were no, I, I don't want to say what I'm Oh man, they look identical. The Dora Milaje? They look identical though. This is a red herring, they're siblings. The guy in the back needs to brush his teeth. My dating. I, I say dating. I say dating. It's just a coincidence that they look identical. It's a red herring. No, no. Oh, brother. Uh. I'm saying, uh, uh, oh, you can hear me now? Okay, I was muted. Yeah. That's my fault, but that's oh. all right. We got siblings here. I think these island boys is uh, siblings. This is siblings here. Oh, I got my hand caught in the blinds. So, Dayton. You said Dayton? Yes. No, they're siblings. <laughs> Look at the way their tongues are pointing at each other. Yeah, I know. They, They're simple ones. They for sure. Like, they f- they for sure touch tips. Listen, like there are siblings who. Well, wait, what? No, nah, I think they're siblings. They just a bunch of fuck boys, though. Day Day Tong, let's go. Day Tong. It's a red herring. They just look conveniently alike. 
no, no, no. It's a red herring because of the ton. They want you to think that they're dating, but they're actually siblings. Uh, Who happens yeah, to love I'm saying they're siblings. They're siblings. Uh, I'm gonna go, these, I'm gonna these, go island, these island boys are siblings. I don't know what island boy means. Island boy. Island go boy. Go you know who the island boys are? Let's go. Let's go. Bunch of no. fuck, bunch of fuck boys from Florida. Nah, I never heard of them. All right, so you said they, Matt. You said they and they talk. Yes. And me yes. And Jimmy are going sibling. Okay, let's find out. Yeah. Sibling or Dayton? Oh, they Dayton. Yeah. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Island That's boys. Stupid. Hi, maybe they were boys. Maybe he's like, "What are you doing, step bro?" Maybe it's that type of thing. Um, I don't know. We, we maybe got, they were said what? We got okie dokes. Uh, we got okie dokes. I I need a I need a retrial. Uh, gotta believe in yourself, Jimmy. There we go. Look at these all American kids. Siblon or Dayton? Why is she grabbing his nip? Listen, that's <laughs> that's a question you gotta you should be asking yourself, Jimmy. Like she's treating him like he was a girl, and she's like, "Where are they?" I don't know. Well, the real question is Siblon or Dayton. Sibling. Sibling. I think they are also sibling. Because she's like, this is my little brother. I'm just holding him. Yeah. My little brother. Look how big my little brother is. My baby brother. She's just playfully, like, grabbing his nips. Sibling. Everybody's they, in but agreement they, that it's sibling. But they fucking. They fucking. Mm. Nah, they not fucking. She, she thick, though. Let's see. Sibling. Or Dayton. Oh, we all wrong, son. Damn. She grabbing Damn. that. She, she grabbing the peck. She grabbing that dick. Oh, man. Oh. See, see what happens when I listen to Jimmy? Uh-huh. Well, fuck you. <laughs> that streak lasted long. <laughs> streak over. What did he say? Oh. I'm getting bullied. <laughs> we all we all got played. We all got played. We all. It's Jimmy's fault. We all listen to Jimmy. I, 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 too, I, I too blame Jimmy. I got distracted by his talk of nipple grabbing. I mean, it, it, well, that's what I was thinking about. Oh, what is this? Oh. Look at them. Look at this. Siblon or Dayton. We got Botox together. Man, I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. It's, a, it's definitely red hair and they were like, man, look at those. Look at the brow on this. Look at these two. Look at they browed up. They 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 gotta be siblings, right? But then again, they could just be a bunch of like Honduran people. I don't know. Could be Mexicans. Like, like Lilo and Dick? No, those are Hawaiians. Oh shit. I'm gonna go off the grain. And I know, even though it's like the eyebrows, I'm saying Dayton. I'm going with Dayton. They yeah. want you to think they're related. But it's Dayton. It's Dayton. Going sibling. You're going sibling? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going Dayton. Two Daytons, one Siblon. Let's find uh, out. Does Matt get back on the board? Come on, baby. Siblon or Dayton? 
Yeah, let's fucking go, Dayton. I told you they wanted you to think. They wanted you to think, baby. Don't let the eyebrows fool ya. And let them school ya. Baby Dayton. The they just, listen, they just two Mexican me. people that love each other. Don't be racist. <laughs> you're, you're the one who said Lilo and Stitch. Right? <laughs> you said Lilo and Stitch. I said I called them a no, bunch of Hondurians. I don't, I don't recall that kind of racism from me. I never even said none. I said these might be some Hondurians. These might be some Mexicans with some thick brows. Doesn't mean that they're related. Just means that they come from the same country and they touch each other's privates. That's no. all. That's all. I don't but know. They maybe dating. maybe they dating over here. Okay. So back on the board, baby. Matt. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, you fell short on that one, man. Let me see. They mixing in some new ones in these old ones because that. Now, come on. What is this? Why are there three dudes? Let's go. Oh, <laughs> Why are there three dudes? Uh, there's so many jokes I can say, but I can't. <laughs> They're a thruple? Thruple. Uh, they might be a thruple. They might be brothers. Look, might... it's, a, it's, triple, it's triple X. They're obviously Dayton. They might be Dayton. Yeah, they, yeah. They, I, I think, think they're, they're Dayton. I think they're Dayton. I think they're a thruple. Your man in the blue is looking is looking zesty. It's because blue and green, each wanna they each wanna be with red. But red can't time red red can't tie himself down to just one man, so he has to have them both. But blue and green, zesty they each wanna be monogamous. Zesty but, taste. I think exactly. blue is being zesty held taste. by his own will. Look at him. He's not happy. I haven't even started the long stroke yet. Exactly. Uh, we had someone by the name of Bussy or Bussy. I don't know, man. So you think these are brothers or are they statutory grape? Are they are they lovers? They brothers. No, nah, they dating. Or a thruple. Nah, you know what? I'm gonna go with Matt. Uh, I'm gonna do thruple. Thruple. So Dayton. Yeah. Yep. Mm. <coughs> All right. Well. So y'all say Dayton. You know what? I kind of want to go Dayton too, man. I think these are some fuck boys Dayton yeah. each other. Look at the guy in the red is smiling because he's saying like, "Yeah, like I'm the I'm the top and the bottom." What's an odd? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. What did he say? <laughs> Which is the top and which is the otter, which is the bear? He's both. Respect. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, so let's find out. Let's find out. Are these siblings or Dayton? Let's see. Wait, uh, I don't know, though. They might be siblings. <laughs> they might. Because they, they like trying to look like a boy band at the same time? Mm, I don't know. Draft again? What the hell? Don't you know what? I'm going to go draft. date. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm go Siblon just to go against the grain. I'm going to say Siblon. Oh, man. Uh, now I don't know. Now I don't know. No, you stick with your choice. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Siblon. Or Dayton. Oh! Yes. See, that's why you listen to me, Loser. man. That's why you listen Let's to go. me. See, that's why you listen to me. If you if you'd have chose what I chose, you'd have, you'd have failed. Bunch of fuck boys. <laughs> we got ourselves a loser down here, Matt. You see him? I see him. I'm catching. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. 
See, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta throw it. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's lots of that. There's lots of that going on, I guess. That's how I like it. Black, pure, and strong. <laughs> My daddy. He f I want what? that, daddy. <laughs> Please give this to me, daddy. No, turn that off. Yeah, this for you, Jimmy. You're a retard. Can you stop talking? <laughs> hey. 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 D. That ain't nice. AIDS! 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 What is happening? <laughs> I usually don't hear it on my end. Now I'm hearing this garbage. <laughs> I don't know Sit how to retaliate. Yeah! yeah, mango ice cream tastes like pussy. Oh, fuck my life. <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna move on to a, find another sibling on a daytime. Just for Jimmy. Uh, Get see. away from me. <laughs> From the from the 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 boys over there, the boys from the boys. Hold on, there's a there's a girl with a beard up there. With a what now? But that's a video, the, man. Yeah. That's a video. Man. Uh, oh, sorry, I don't know. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, brother. Here goes one. Siblons or Dayton. What are we saying? Day here, huh? Dayton. <laughs> it's like, hi, my name is Dustin. This is my girlfriend. Yeah, Dayton. My, it's my birthday, but I don't like traditional cakes. I like non-conventional cakes with extra long candles and little Rice Krispies on the top. And a bow. I definitely play soccer. I think these are... I think they're siblings. Go Dayton. Dayton? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you picking Dayton as well, Jimmy? Yes, sir. Oh, oh go against me, huh? <laughs> uh, you're dumb. We don't like you. <laughs> you're retarded. All right, well, let's see. Who's Siblon or Dayton? Dayton! Yes! He's like, I do have a girlfriend. See, she's real. It's not my sister. <laughs> it's not my sister. Anymore. <laughs> Ever since the divorce, we can now be together in real life. <laughs> it's amicable. Right, let's see. Do we have any other ones here? Hmm. <laughs> let's see what we got. Hmm. Okay. Hold on. Hey now. 
siblings for Dayton. Whoa. What do we think? What do we see beneath all that denim and hair? Hmm. Sibling. I see a bunch of Swifties. I see. Exactly. <laughs> I see. Exactly. They, they go into the a very dusty fire hydrant or a. Uh, off or a faded fire hydrant. What? Right behind them, there's a fire hydrant. Is, is that dusty or is it just faded? I thought you were referring to his junk. <laughs> Me <No>. too. What? <laughs> no, right here. There's a fire hydrant. I thought he was talking about his junk too. <laughs> no, the junk? Come on, daddy. Why would I be looking at his junk? I don't know. You were saying I was it very like, successful. I was like, I was like, what? I was like, what does a dusty fire hydrant mean? Like that means like he's on a dry spell. <laughs> dusty fire hydrant. <laughs> like is that is that how the kids now is that how the kids nowadays are saying like dry spell? No. <laughs> Let me get that fire hydrant of yours. <laughs> Let me get at that dusty fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said it so suggestively, too. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> like, look at that. Is that a dusty fire hydrant back there? Or is it just old? It's like, fuck. I don't know, man. I didn't think about it. Clearly you have, but... <laughs> I have, because it's a dusty, or is it just faded from in the sun? Or is it just dusty? I don't know. But are these siblings, or are they Dayton? What's going on? Sibling. I think they Dayton. She's going after his dusty fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to the Taylor Swift concert after this. They're like, Harry Styles just dropped a new album. Come on. Let's go. Let's go buy our fire hype. Listen to it. Harry Styles. Let's go, Sibylon. Hmm. I'm going to say... I'm going to say Dayton. Huh, my eyeballs are burning. So how many... <laughs> who else picked Dayton? Uh, I, I did. Matt, you said oh, Siblon? I'm saying Siblon. Uh, yeah, the fire hydrants hold me. Siblon <laughs> or Dayton. Yeah, baby, they are Dayton. Uh, uh... They are Dayton. These two nerds are in love. And maybe Jimmy, maybe she is looking at his dusty fire hydrant. Wait a minute. That's a fire extinguisher. Well, well hydrant extinguisher, you knew what the fuck I meant. <laughs> no, you don't know words. I know words. I just get them well, get mixed up sometimes. Sometimes I say them no good. <laughs> say them no good. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have that dusty extinguisher. <laughs> yeah, gotta, they gotta. both blow out white stuff, so. Hey, yo. Hey, Just saying. Start it up. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Oh, here we go. I don't know if you've seen this one, but. We got some side boob. We got mashing tats. Are these besties? Uh, are these besties banging, or are these just uh, sisters who who scissor? Oh fuck my life! I hope it's the latter. With side what are you doing boob that? action. Daytong. You say Dayton? What about you, Jimmy? Yeah. 
I'm going Siblon. There's a red herring. These two happen to feel comfortable showing each other's. These are just sisters. Uh, Who scissor? I wasn't going to say that, but yeah. I too think these are sisters who scissor. And they are not Dayton. They're covering up their manhole covers. They're like, I am comfortable being topless in front of my little sister. I am confident. We are besties for life. We are two peas in a pod. We're little mushroom oh. cats. We are sisters. While Matt's That's like, a- we're going to finger each other tonight Uh-oh. after these tattoos. We're going to finger bang. Yeah. <laughs> I-, I was on board until the laugh. You love the laugh. Kit, kit, <laughs> kit, kit, kit. Uh-huh. All right. So we got two siblings, one Dayton. For all the marbles, Siblon Let's go. or Dayton? Let's go Dayton. Ah, uh, they throwing no more pictures at us. Show you their bond. Oh, wait, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Is it... <laughs> the, the, the other picture could change. It changed my opinion. No, no, I think there's. I, I'm, I'm staying with Dayton. I, Dayton, I you know what? Feeling. I'm going with Dayton now. Uh, Look at her little Mario hat. Whoa! Tiffany Stratton just showed her nipple. Oh. I don't know who that is, but I like nipple. Probably shouldn't air that. Let's go, Dayton. Hold on, I'm behind you, Matt. So you know, nipple hasn't shown up for me. Like you, you oh. don't see the you don't see the nipple, but like you see the areola. Oh, I see it. Okay, yeah, they out. Mm. Send it to me. What are you doing? She blast. She blast. Yeah, yeah. Fix your shit, girl. Sip mm. loan. Let's fucking go. Oh. They love my oh, sister. On, I love my sister. Uh, we show you, each Matt. other our breasts. Uh, we have matching tattoos because I love you. We are sisters. Yeah, let's go, Sip Loan. Matt really like fucked me over. Dang. <laughs> He took me down to loser world. <laughs> I, 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 I sacrificed myself getting a point just to make sure that Jimmy did not get it right. I hope. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I, I, I knew it was. I, I, I knew it was the siblings the whole time. I just wanted to make Jimmy lose. <laughs> I, I, I hope you have nightmares tonight. Oh. I only have nightmares when my eyes are open. I'm going to quote that from my book. <laughs> Harold, you're being a terrible boyfriend. Can't, you, can't, you can't win them all, I guess. I could have. Could have. Someone got to investigate these two. You should not be showing. A- <coughs> <coughs> Look at y'all. Look at y'all. Y'all got y'all got okie doped. This is terrible news. What kind of hat is that? Somebody tell me. I don't know. Mm. Let's see. See if we can find any more. 
they, they've been sprinkling some that I haven't seen. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, hey, let's go right here. Let's go right here. This is interesting. Very uh, whoa, suggestive photo here. Wow. Simblom, I first, first, I know the crowd, the, the chat. Here you go. That's the full scopes. That's how we, that's how we chilling in the grass in the cut, taking in a little shade. Probably went for a little joggy jog. Her feet hurt. She had to take the shoes off. And he's like, "Come on, sis and or girlfriend, come sit by me, shirtless, bed blasting bare chest. Are we Simblom or Dayton? You had me at shoes." Sibling. You going sibling? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say Dayton on this one. I'm going to go sibling, but he's covering yeah. up the owner because he knows it's wrong. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I think, like, I think, like, she didn't want to be in this picture. Like, look at her hand. Look at her hands. Look how, like, far back her... Look how her hands are positioned. Like, her hands are not near his junk. They're as far away from his junk as they possibly can be. <laughs> and to compensate, he has his on his junk. Yeah. So. <laughs> but the fact that she's like kind of leaning on his sweaty body, I don't think his sister would do that. Ew! Don't say. See, it like that. I don't think she's. I don't think she's leaning on his sweaty body. I think he's pulling her towards his sweaty body, and she's trying to like. She's trying to like non discreetly get away from him. Like that's why her body is angled away from him. <laughs> She's like, I don't know, I don't even know this person. I'm a, I'm gonna stick with Dayton. <laughs> Siv yeah. Long. Siblong. Yeah, I'm gonna Let's go baby. Let's yeah. do it, baby. You going Siblong, Jimmy? Yeah, look, yeah, yeah. There's vodka in that water bottle. She's just trying to get through this, you know? All right. Siblon or Dayton. Oh, we got siblons. Yeah. Oh. Loser. It. <laughs> it's all in the hand positioning. <laughs> That's a dumb blanket. <laughs> Let me see what we got here. Hmm. hmm. Siblon or Dayton. They're having a nice mimosa. Dayton. You say Dayton? Yeah. Mm. I'm going to say Siblon. Because he's probably her gay brother because he's too pretty for her. He's and pretty? They're having, a nice, uh, they're having a nice Sunday mimosa. At the hey, look at his, his hairline is receding. He's trying so hard to hide it. Yeah, listen, listen. He's working on it, okay? He's one day at a time. Listen, Rogan. One game. day at a time. Maybe they don't have that in Milan, okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> but hey, but he's like, I come, my sister. We have a brunch. Uh, we have a mimosa, and that I Georgina. She's like, that's right, the Pablo. I mean, my brother Pablo. We come here every Sunday for brunch. I can't. Are they Italians or Greeks? Don't worry about it. Stop being. Don't be racist. Like my big fat Greek wedding. Don't be racist. I like that. Movie. That was a good movie. They're whatever you want them to be, Jimmy. But Pablo says, I... "Me and my sister, we have a mimosa, okay?" While Matt hey, says Tom. that Pablo 
is Dayton, Georgina, over here. You sexy. Georgina or Georgino? Listen, listen, listen. Okay? Don't be racist. What? <laughs> Siblon or Dayton? I'm going Dayton. All right, let's find out. Siblon, Dayton. Siblon, I told you. I told you Pablo was taking his sister for Mimosa. Too good looking for her, son. I told you. Grab fucked. <laughs> I'm devastated. <coughs> Talk about my wife. Oh, brother. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pablo. It's okay. Talk about my wife. It's a mama mia. <laughs> what happened? We're mad. Matt had to go to silent mode. He's like devastated right now. He's devastated. Well, he just lost. That he lost Pablo, miserably. He, he's devastated that Pablo is taking his sister Georgina out for mimosas. How do you know? Those are mimosas. Cause they're, they're, they're mm -hmm. drinking, they're drinking mimosas. It's orange juice and the champagne glass. It's probably I've never mimosas. had a mimosa. I've never oh, had a mimosa. They're mimosa. Will you take me out to get one? You're not classy enough. You're gonna be classy. I'm not classy enough. You're that's not, racist. No, that's classism. You're not classy enough. Doesn't matter what your color is. You what? just, you just, you just, so, uh, you're just an uh, incompetent. What? No, you, 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 <laughs> you, you racist. That's what this is. You don't know. I almost just fell in my closet. <sighs> I rest my case. <clears throat> Falling in closets. Look at this guy. How you fall in a closet, huh? I'm going to put my chair back. Mm. And I fell. Let me see. I don't hear Right. <sighs> <clears throat> so what those two it. beach goers? Yeah, let's do yeah. it right here. Siblings or oh, Dayton? Are these two more best friends and sisters? They're wearing the same outfit. It's like we're sisters. Ah, uh, they're, they're just Dayton. weird women who like to dress the same. And they're like, we they're met. Just weird. <laughs> they're just weird women. <laughs> <laughs> Who are those two? Those are just two weird women. Just weird women. Fuckers dress the same. Look at them. <laughs> Get them some help. I'm gonna go day Tom. If they were if they were siblings, that tattoo. That the one on the right has, the one on the left would also have that. Just like the last picture. Matt, what do you say? Also, oh. and, and she's clearly like going for the beef right now, that roast beef, but but she's being stopped. Look at that. I'm going to say, I'll probably say, I'm going to, you said they're siblings? Or you said they're Dayton? Oh, me? Yeah, you. Uh, uh, Dayton. I think they're born. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to say sibling as well. 
but I feel like they're just weird white <laughs> weird white women. <laughs> they're just Dayton. I say Dayton. Nah, she Matt says Siblon, and Jimmy says Dayton. Let's find yep. out. Siblon or Dayton. Siblon or Dayton. Yeah, weird white women. Let's go, Dayton. But you said Siblon. No, I said Dayton. Matt said Siblon. No. I said they're weird. Yeah, you said, I said I'm also. I said these are weird white women. I said I wanted to say Siblon, but I said I'm, but I think these are weird white women dating. And yeah. Oh, know. okay. All right. <laughs> these are weird white women dating who like to dress the same. <laughs> <laughs> weird white women and doing weird white women things. Going to the beach together, dressed in the same thing. I told you I was right about the hand. Yeah, she was going for the puss. Yep. <laughs> she was mm. going for the puss. She said, no, 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 no. no. Not in the photo. Not in the photo, Karen. No. <laughs> yeah. Say, but Samantha, I want the Arby's. I want the roast Samantha. beast. The way you say that makes me want to punch them. Uh, but I just wanted to go to the Gucci store and get a new bag. Louis Vuitton is so last year. Keep me away from these two. I can't stand straight white men. But I love women who dress up just like me and look like a a young Jennifer Love Hewitt. I thought you were gonna say, uh, "Never mind." <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not. It's nothing. It's nothing. You said I. I, I want to date women that only look like Anne Hathaway, or maybe Caitlyn Jenner, <laughs> or maybe even. Caitlyn Jenner. Wow, Jade uh, just beat Chelsea Green in like a speed match. That was like under three minutes. <laughs> doing we doing speed matches. <clears throat> Uh, speed match is uh, being generous because that definitely was not three minutes. It's the new tag team. We got two muscular black women. Let's put them together in, in the tag team. It's like, yeah, that sounds good. Everybody loves strong black women. Don't you love strong black women, Jimmy? Oh, uh, there's nothing better. You love him. Dora, you love a black strong woman, right? Uh, Dora Bellagio, yeah. That's how I like it. Black, pure, and strong. Can we just end this fucking show? <laughs> As you know, I'm an incredible racist. I really hate those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You, you you tell him, Phil. <laughs> you tell him. <laughs> Dark side predator. <laughs> yes, let's address, address the biggest thing. My wife cat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it just sometimes happens to be that way. I can't. But so should we should we do one more? Should we do one more? Cause it looks like Matt's about uh, to about to check out and head out, so Okay. Alright, let's do one more. Let's yeah, we could do we could, we could do one more. Um, 
Oh, what about the the dude carrying the girl? I think we've done that one before. I remember that one. Oh. Okay. Oh, hold on. This looks new. All right, <laughs> let's look at this guy right here. Siblon or Dayton. Uh, I'm going. I'm going no. Siblon. Um, yeah. I'll go against the grain. I'll, I'll go Dayton. Dayton. All right. Let's see. Yeah. This is for it all. Winner take all. Siblon or Dayton. Dayton. Oh, they're not related. Uh, we lose. Jimmy wins. Ah, loser. <laughs> All right, well, I think that is going to do it for us here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank everybody for coming out to join us. As always, you know, birds ain't real. So get that out of your head. Um, <laughs> subscribe, like all that fun stuff. We'll we'll see you back here next week for more goodness. Hopefully, we'll have some more figures than we did tonight. But you know how it goes sometimes. Also, uh, join us Monday night, clickbait wrestling, and Thursdays for extreme locale wrestling. ELW. Any uh, last words before we call it, gentlemen? Uh, gentleman, because Matt's not here. Oh, he left? He just left? Okay. Well, it's been Matt. Uh, you know. Birds ain't real. Birds ain't real, bitch. Well, we will see y'all next week. Y'all have a good evening. Enjoy your weekend. And make sure you always kick out. Thick boys out.